There are a lot of games on the Nintendo Switch that people want to see sequels to. I know a lot of people are talking about a Super Mario Party 2 coming out soon. There was some talk about a Splatoon 3 coming out a while ago, but the game that I want to see a sequel to, and I know a lot of other people do as well, is Super Mario Odyssey 2. Super Mario Odyssey is an incredibly enjoyable experience. It's got so much fun just crammed into that small tiny cartridge and it's obviously apparent that Nintendo just put a ton of time and effort into that game and I think everyone just wants more of it. We got some DLC in the terms of Luigi's Balloon World but we didn't really get anything substantial as in New Kingdoms which is what everyone really wanted. However recently Nintendo of Japan tweeted out um, just a application guideline thing for uh, new employees working in Tokyo um, stating that they needed employees to be level designers for a brand new 3D action game and this came with a picture of Mario. Now there's chances that Mario's on there just because Mario's, you know, the mascot of Nintendo, but obviously they are going to be making another 3D Mario at some point, so this just got my brain spinning and I was like, okay, I want to talk about Odyssey 2 because this just got me so hyped. However, a topic as ginormous as Super Mario Odyssey 2 could not be covered by just me alone. So hey guys, it's Thomas from the Switched Up and I'm joined by... PJ, and today we're going to be talking about Super Mario Odyssey 2 and what we'd like to see in it. So our first point is that Odyssey 1 had no paid DLC. Now obviously as Thomas just said in his intro, it there was only Luigi's Balloon World but there was no paid DLC kingdoms. Now we're going to cover in our next point a cancelled kingdom that a lot of people want to see but I think part of why that was cancelled is because they want to save it for Odyssey 2 and an idea that I had that I've literally just thought about is that they could include kingdoms referring to other games such as Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, and stuff like that. So seeing what they could do with new kingdoms in Odyssey 2 if it were to be released could be really exciting. Yeah, so obviously New Kingdoms would be awesome, and uh, just going off your last point, like what you just said, in Mario Galaxy 2, and don't worry, we'll be talking about the comparisons between Galaxy and Odyssey and a potential Odyssey 2, kind of similar to how Galaxy got Galaxy 2, but that, that comes later. For now, just the fact that Galaxy 2 um, was also a sequel to a 3D Mario game, and that had something called the Throwback Galaxy, I believe, which was just... Um, it was just a level from Super Mario 64. I think it was Thwomp's Fortress, I believe, but yeah, they uh, put that in there, so it would not surprise me at all if they have kingdoms sort of like that in the Mario Odyssey style, because I would love to explore levels from Galaxy, Sunshine, and even actual levels from Super Mario 64 instead of just Peach's Castle with Mario's Cappy and that whole Odyssey moveset. However, as you mentioned before, there was one unused kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. Now, this kingdom was Isle Delfino. So, Isle Delfino um, was like 99% going to be originally in the game. It was in some promotional art, uh, it was in the globe of the game, and they even kind of left it in, I guess. This probably wasn't intentional, but if you look at the globe, I think even now, in Super Mario Odyssey, you can see a little outline of where Isle Delfino should be. They just painted over it with blue, but the actual texture is still there. It extrudes from the globe on the Odyssey. It's right next to the Mushroom Kingdom little outline there. So it's pretty like confirmed that Isle Delfino was at least at some point pretty late in development going to be included in Super Mario Odyssey. Um, obviously that means they will have had some stuff for that. They probably are just going to save that though for Mario Odyssey 2 because Mario Odyssey on its own already has enough content and they could use it in Mario Odyssey 2 to make this potential sequel that much better. Yeah, I was really disappointed to see that the Isle Delfino idea was cancelled considering Super Mario Sunshine is one of my favorite Mario games, if not one of my favorite games of all time, and I really would have liked to see that, but unfortunately we did not, and hopefully we see it in Odyssey 2. So, as I mentioned before, Galaxy 2, I believe, could be a huge inspiration for Mario Odyssey 2. Not necessarily in terms of gameplay, but just in terms of the story of their development. For those of you guys who do not know, Mario Galaxy on the Wii was originally going to get DLC, not necessarily uh, DLC as in paid DLC, it was, I think it was just going to be a free update, but it was going to get new content added to the game through Nintendo's online service. 
uh, back on the Wii. However, they kind of nixed that idea after the development team had too much fun creating new content, and eventually they just used that into a second game, which was uh, Mario Galaxy 2, which came out relatively soon after the original Mario Galaxy, I think just a few years after. Because it used the same engine and everything, it was on the same console, it was just brand new levels. And I think that's exactly what could be happening with Mario Odyssey 2. The Mario Odyssey development team just, you can feel how much fun they were having when designing the levels, creating the gimmicks, all that stuff. And this 100% seems like the type of game that they would just have so much content for that they're saving some for Mario Odyssey 2 instead of giving Mario Odyssey substantial DLC. So our next point is going to be that we want to refine the gameplay. Now in Odyssey 1, I think one of my favorite mechanics was just Cappy alone, the platforming, like leave the innovative kingdoms and that sort of open world concept alone for a second. The Cappy mechanics and just the gameplay from Cappy was something I really enjoyed. So in Odyssey 2, I would like to see them expand on that even more and figure out new ideas to incorporate Cappy and just make the levels a little bit harder because even though I'm really bad at Aussie games <laughs> or just Mario games alone, um, I think at the end of the game, I kind of got a hang of it. So making those cappy mechanics harder and also just being more innovative with them would be something I would really like to see in a sequel. Yeah, I mean, when they come out with Mario Odyssey 2, the development team should and probably will, uh, like, develop the game with the mindset that everyone playing it has already played Mario Odyssey 1. So it wouldn't make sense to make Odyssey 2 have the same difficulty curve, they should make it generally harder. Obviously it won't start off as hard as the end of Mario Odyssey 1, but it should ramp up harder and there should even be some challenges that far surpass anything Odyssey had to offer because even Odyssey's hardest kingdom, the darker side, wasn't really that hard when you compare it to something like the hell that was 3D World's Champion's Road. That that level still gives me nightmares, and I'd love to have yeah. something that's that difficult, but with Mario Odyssey's moveset, because the moveset in Odyssey is just so satisfying to use. And one more thing I wanted to add is that possibly in the after game, after you beat the entire game as Mario, I was thinking that you could play as Luigi. Now, this has happened before in Super Mario 3D Land, where, where you beat the game as Mario, you actually had Luigi, but you had to beat all levels over again and there was eight regular worlds and then there was also eight special worlds so i was thinking instead of doing all of that again which is a huge pain and just really unfun considering you played the game already i was thinking that you could add kingdoms sort of relating to luigi's history so that could be you know a luigi's mansion kingdom or just stuff like that from luigi's history and lore and all of that stuff yeah, that's honestly a great idea. I never thought about it like that because I know a lot of people, including myself, wanted to have different characters in Odyssey. Um, there was this one fake leak that came out which showed you could switch from Mario to Luigi to Wario to a ton of different characters, and I personally want that a lot. But it's interesting to think that they could actually switch it off so you can play as Mario in these certain kingdoms, but you can play as Luigi in a few kingdoms, then maybe you can play as Wario or Waluigi in one one or two kingdoms and maybe as a end game reward you can take any character to any kingdom and explore it like that. I didn't really think about it like that but that would be pretty interesting. Yeah it could also be really interesting what they could do with other characters possibly including as you said Wario and all that. Uh, sort of like a system like uh, Super Mario 64 DS back in the days where you had Yoshi and Mario, Wario and Luigi I believe those were the four. Um, so it could be interesting what they could do with many other characters from that main Mario 6 group, which uh, to me is uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Wario, and Waluigi. So that could be pretty exciting. Yeah, so last thing I want to quickly talk about is actually some concept art that was never used. So a lot of people have probably seen this picture I'll put up on screen right now of a potential New Donk City we never got. It's a lot more colorful, a lot brighter, and while I like New York uh, or New Donk City's more realistic take on like New York City, um, I, I think everyone kind of dreams about having this as a kingdom at least once. On top of that, there's this cool one with a fountain and where it's kind of just like a normal town. I think all these sort of concepts would be unique to have uh, because obviously they were concepts. The development team was kicking them around like probably uh, like 
like tossing around the idea at some point. So it just goes to show once again how much like content they have to work with. I mean, they had unused concepts back in Odyssey 1. So yeah, and not only does this show that we probably will get a sequel at some point, but it just goes to show maybe some of what we can expect. And this looks really cool, so I'd love to see this in the game. So overall, this Mario Odyssey 2 video covered a fair amount of stuff. We talked about why we think Mario Odyssey 2 will happen and what we want to see in it. However, there's always the possibility that, you know, Nintendo goes with something like Galaxy 3. However, the fact that we just got Mario Odyssey means that it's kind of still fresh in our minds, even though I guess it is it has been like two, three years. But the game is still relatively new, and obviously the engine is on Switch, so it'll be the easiest for Nintendo to make a sequel to. However, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you even want an Odyssey sequel, or are most of you guys wanting for something like uh, Galaxy 3, or I know PJ probably wants a Sunshine 2 or something along those lines? Yes, yes. So guys, once again, I want to thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow our Twitters and join our Discord. All will be linked below. And I'm PJ. And I'm Thomas, signing off. Peace.